That in. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Can you see us? Can you hear us? We oh, are yeah. so excited to be here. Oh my goodness. I see us. Do you see us, Sarah? I do. <laughs> Wonderful. We're, we're live. We made it. We made it. We made it to January 22nd. Oh, what a week. What a week, ladies. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> what a wild week. You know, as we, again. <laughs> as we love to know uh, every week, where are you watching from today? Are you home? What city are you in? What state are you in? Pretty much we know if you're in the United States, you live here, you're here. <laughs> you know, we're here. So let us know where you are. We'd love to read those after the show. Um, it's so much fun to see We've had people from Australia sign in and Spain and Canada. Uh, so let us know, please, please, please. Um, we have a big, fabulous topic to talk about today and uh, highlights our Ms. Jackie Soto. Uh, but of course, let's do some updates and some announcements first. So uh, for those of you who were able to attend the first book club of 2021 on How Women Rise, whoo that conversation was fire. It was so, so good. And as seems to be our MO now, we're going to do a second one. <laughs> so we have uh, February 2nd, so 2-2 two, two at 11 o'clock, we AM PT, we are going to do another conversation around that. We'll have an event up later today so that you can sign up on Zoom and get yourself registered and get that on your calendar. So if you missed it, sign up for this one. If you are still like, how women rise? What does that mean? Another leadership book that tells women how to be different? Ah, uh, no, it is not about that, right, Sarah? You were there. My goodness. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, it was we were so talking good. about stories we tell ourselves. We were talking mm -hmm. about the people we surround ourselves with. We were talking about the, the, those you things know, that hold us back. Right. And I loved the conversation about flipping the switch and it ties into the stories we tell ourselves. And it was such a powerful conversation. That's why we want to do it again, but it's really flipping the switch in our brains. Yes. Yes. And what I love about this um, male, female team that wrote this book is that even in the audible, you, they, they each read a different chapter and you can feel that energy throughout the book that these two people come together and really have a desire to help women see these pitfalls that are through all of their research. They have seen, these are the 12 habits that we have picked up, whether it's through media, whether it's through mentors, whether it's just through some really bad advice along the way from a friend or a parent or a teacher, uh, but they're all easily fixable. All the habits are breakable. And so join us, join us, join us for that again, 2-2 at 11. Uh, also, for those of you who have not had a chance to catch the replays from the Q4 Wisdom series, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they're all up. They're all on IamWomanUp.com slash wisdom series dash replays, all of them in the same place. We will be highlighting them uh, throughout the year, but throughout the next few weeks to make sure that you know what is all in there, but all of the topics on marketing and branding and building uh, up your negotiation skills, building your wealth with real estate, uh, really firing up your goals, negotiating all of the things. Come on, all of the, so many great topics and a lot of them were from the virtual conference. So make sure that you uh, check those out, the replay on IamWomanUp.com. And also we will be talking about this throughout the conversation today, but we want to make sure we give two big shout outs to our sponsor partner events that are happening next week. So if you haven't heard, Inman Connect is next week. Uh, it is not in New York City. It is online. And so we all have access to it. Isn't that great? Uh, 
that's the beauty of virtual. The, the expanded reach and accessibility is off the charts. Uh, we are doing two woman up sessions, which we will share with you later, but we really want you to, uh, to get there, be there with us. And I think maybe Jackie has a code. Mm -hmm. um, and then our fabulous 2020 and 2021 Gold Plus sponsor, Rate My Agent, has their very first Agent of the Year Award event here in the United States. They've been doing it in Australia. Molly has mentioned that over the years with us here that um, they have this epic event that they host every year that is so incredibly uplifting and highlights agents who do the work every day and whose clients have given them praise right back. So that is happening next week. You do not need to attend Inman to attend that event. So we'll make sure to get you that link, but so very grateful for both Inman and Rate My Agent for all of their amazing support over the last few years. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, throwing the mic to you. What's going on? Oh, goodness. Well, we are in the middle, and I just want to let you know, Leslie's hopefully going to pop back on. She lost her internet, and I may too, so you know that's how we roll. Right? It's a crazy day. <laughs> it's a crazy day, and that's okay. We do hard things. So um, wanted to give everybody in California a heads up that our Glide member benefit, that is Glide member benefit, which has all of CAR standard forms, a transaction management tool, um, associate local association forms that's launching or actually that launched today and it is available and I'll pop the link in uh, in the uh, chat but it is available on card.org uh, in our realtor secure transaction so we're really excited about that um, I'll also pop a link to our frequently asked questions and so that's just another option for people who um, who love and use Glide. We also have Zipform and other, other transaction management tools. So those are all available in the Realtor Secure transaction. And then what we are looking at, what we're paying attention to is the next round of stimulus for people who need it. Um, lots and lots and lots of economic pain out there thanks to COVID or no thanks to COVID. So um, Biden, just took office, has a $1.9 million, million or trillion, trillion dollar stimulus package on the plate. One of the things on there is a, an additional, you all, you may have received a $600 uh, check. Um, they're looking at adding that up to 2000, so a 1400 bump. And then for anybody who's on unemployment, another $400 a week, which is, is much needed. And then for the parents, now this one really caught my eye when I looked at some of the executive orders that <laughs> came out around the pandemic, but they are really hyper-focused in getting the schools back in person. And so they wanna get vaccinations, they wanna help with PPE for teachers in schools. And so that was huge for me. I know Jackie, are your kids home? They're home and they are totally virtual. Everything's online. Exactly. And, you know, I mean, it's not for everybody. It's challenges. We just went through our parent teacher conferences and that each one of the parents, uh, sorry, the teachers, so James now has seven in middle school, each one of them, each of them said it's such a challenging environment, not only for teachers, but for the kids. So praying and hoping we'll, we'll let you know if we find out anything, but that's kind of what we're looking at. And that's pretty much it from my end. Mm -hmm. I love it. But what I love is all of the goodness that's happening this week. There's goodness. Um, and I, you know, regardless of the politics that we've all been, that's been firing around for the last four years, I think that we can all agree that we were all holding our breath on Wednesday and wondering what's going to happen and where's it going to happen. And we all took a collective deep breath and <sighs> let it out. Um, it would, I think there's just a, a shift. I feel like people are telling me they're more, they're able to focus a little bit better now that, that we're past Wednesday. And so hopefully that is encouraging for others, right? That, that as we kind of, you know, lift the vibration, like Molly and I talk about um, lifting it up, right? Like 
shaking off all that fear. And what I'm so excited about with the word fear is that we have one of the most fearless gals in our community here with us today. So for those of you who don't know Jackie, she, so many of the, the women in the community refer to her as little sis. She, she has been a lifelong learner in every single second, like always looking for opportunities to learn and grow and become a better version of herself than she was the day before. And so I'm going to share fun little quotes that other people have written about Jackie instead of reading her bio, since we've had her on the show, we've had her on the stage. Um, so as you know, uh, J- her name's Jackie Soto and she's a partner and broker owner at eHomes. Now that's not the same brokerage we talked about last time she was here. Um, it's a brokerage out of Inland Empire in Southern California. She um, also has been a very active wave maker for us. This, the, the moment we started our advocate program, our wave maker program, she was like, me, where, sign up now, help. <laughs> like, get me plugged in. Uh, she also serves on National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals Board and National Association of Realtors YPN. So she's really dug into the organized side of real estate and the brokerage side of real estate. And so she uh, has a, a global perspective of what's happening, right? Um, she was also highlighted in the Rate My Agent Indisruptible campaign. And actually all three of us were, I forgot about that. All three of us were. So this is the campaign that Rate My Agent put together in, I think it was at an Inman. We all did our videos as a matter of fact. Um, It's so appropriate. But this is the fun quote about Jackie and that. Jackie Soto is fearless. Yes, I said fearless. See, there it is again. She's learned to harness her emotions to propel her business forward. Her boutique brokerage was recently acquired by eHomes and is now experiencing the meteoric rise of growth. People want to be part of what Jackie is creating because she understands the foundation of her business is trust. Welcome. Welcome, 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 Jackie. Thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I haven't seen you guys or been on stage with you guys and had discussion with you guys in a really long time. Thank you, COVID. It feels like forever. It feels like forever. Yes. So Jackie, I, we heard Deborah mention it last time you were with us, you were in a completely different brokerage. And when I met you, you were. So tell us about that shift, what it looked like, what you did, what eHomes is all about. <laughs> okay. So let's back up just like one more step and let's talk about sure. when we first met Sarah. So broker, um, that actually time when I met you at CAR. And you did your Indie Broker Summit. Indie Broker Summit, where you just were gonna launch Women Up. And launching Women Up, you spoke about really pushing women into brokerage ownership. So that's where, I don't know, I just had a, something came into my mind where it was like, you opened my eyes. Like, I could probably do this, right? And that's where Divergent was born. I wanted to do something, I wanted to do something different. Um, I had just got my broker's license. So we launched Divergent. It was a, it was a pre-30 goal. So launched my brokerage pre-30. Got it done, out of the way. It was really just for myself, um, my baby brokerage, right? I knew I wanted to do something different and start something that I never had as an agent, which was true mentorship. You know, you, you join a brokerage and you feel that there's like smoke and mirrors. What's going on? There's not really huge collaboration and sharing in the growth of your business. So launch Divergent that way. All of my agents were new, all of them. They were new agents, but they all were producing. And they were producing compassion. That's exactly what I wanted for my agents, right? Um, fast forward two years, you guys. We grew. My little baby was growing. I was getting some national recognition. Um, and yes, <laughs> yes. At that point, we had different companies approaching us to do something bigger, take us to the next step. Because here I am, a baby brokerage, right? And they're like, let us help you. Let's do something bigger. Um, speaking in franchises and partnerships. So had a conversation with my now partner over the span of about 300 days. And I just chose to remain indie. I wanted to remain indie. I wanted to have full control while um, <laughs> still having a partnership. And we'll talk about the control part later. 
but decided to move forward and we launched now eHomes. Mm -hmm. Two, well, now two offices later, we should fast forward. You, you said Inland Empire, but we just launched in Orange County, you guys. That's yes. It. Wow. Yes. That's awesome. So Jackie, great to see everybody. I'm sorry I had some internet Welcome um, issues, back. but um, so you've had a lot of experience now with a partner. And so we're just kind of interest, interested in any advice you might have on anyone that's looking forward to diving into brokerage with a partner. Like what, what were some of the things that were unique to that? P pluses, minuses, what to watch out for, any regrets? <laughs> Thankfully, no regrets yet, um, but I'd say first I'd ask them to consider if they actually need and really want a partner. Um, sometimes it's a matter of you just need help and you can get help in other ways like consulting, if you can afford consulting. Sometimes you can't afford consulting, but there's this beautiful community of women called Women Up where you can reach out and ask questions, right. which is one of the things I did before I decided to partner. Deborah, I know you and I had conversations before I actually made the move. Um, so make sure that you really want to partner and it's something you're going to be committed to. Um, secondly, I'd say seek out varied strengths. Um, my partner and I, we are not the same. We are different. He is strong in places that I am weaker. I am strong in places that he is weaker and we really complement each other. It's one of the Perfect. great parts of our, yeah, that's the, that's the best part of our partnership. It, it can drive me crazy sometimes, <laughs> but it really is a gift. It's a great thing. Um, I'd say also when you're doing your due diligence, take the emotion out of it. You want to take the, all of the emotion out of it. Make sure that the vision, like the big picture is aligned because you can change the way that you're going to get to the goal, but the goal needs to be the same, you need to have the same vision. And my last piece of advice, I'd say to have someone that you absolutely trust, review your paperwork, talk to them before you actually sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, all of that sounds like good relationship advice for any situation. So thank you for that. <laughs> I love that. I, well, <laughs> You know, I, I have the honor of hanging out with your leadership team, Jackie, and they, the beauty of it from the outside looking in is that you do all complement each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that what I, what I've heard in our conversations over the years and read and listened to interviews you've been in, you are very focused on um, slow to hire, fast to fire <laughs> and mentoring, mm -hmm. mentoring, mm -hmm. mentoring, mentoring. And I, I teased about it a little at the beginning about the, the fact that you are a lifelong learner and all of us know that about you. Uh, I think that it's such a beautiful, beautiful segue into talking about how you're stepping into doing some mentoring as well. You know, we have the, the mentorship program on the woman up Facebook group, which we'll make sure to put the link in here. So everyone can be part of that. But, um, what are you doing now in the mentoring space? Are you mentoring people? What does that look like? Yeah. Mentorship for me looks a little different, um, right now with the agents and staff. So we have 120 total human bodies here at eHomes. And beyond that, you know, there's social media, there's people that reach out that I'm always willing to help with. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram because I'm always one click away. Just message me, I'll answer your questions. <laughs> um, but I'd say the biggest thing for me has been helping others kind of expand their horizons because that's what was done to me. Like when Sarah said, you can do this, right? And I was like, wait, I could? Just helping people have that little mind shift, right? And a great example of this is, I'll tell you a story about one of my agents, Ronnie, Ronnie Mitchell. Uh, she had just joined our brokerage and her goal was to have one or two escrows a month, which is good for a brand new agent to produce 20 deals, 20, 40 deals a year. So she opened her first escrow. She calls me really excited. And to which I respond with a challenge. I want to challenge her because I, I see the potential in her, right? So I'm like, that's amazing, right? I said, but I see you being the next flex agent of the month. I said, I want to see your name on the board. And so she hung up the phone call. Later on that day, she calls me back and she just answers the phone with like a puzzled question. She's like, 
Jackie, I can't stop thinking about this. You're talking about my potential. She said, what does that look like to you? Mm. So to which I responded, Ronnie, I think you can be doing five or eight a month. I know you can with the resources that we're going to give you and the coaching that you have. And just you, your work ethic is, is it's amazing. And clients love her, right? So we hung up that phone call. She was amazed, um, kind of inspired, I guess, because now she has five escrows opened and a very fluffy pipeline. So those are her. That's where I really get fulfillment with mentorship. Well, and, you know, I remember listening to your interview with uh, Bill Risser on his real estate sessions show. And uh, one of your, one of the things that you talked about is um, really reaching out to mentors and mentors and asking for help, but asking the right questions. Like you really had the, you, you stuck a pin in it for everyone said, you know, don't be afraid to ask the questions that might not that might seem silly or might seem irrelevant, like really like raising your hand and saying, I, I have this idea. I want to do this thing. Um, can like help who can help me, right? You don't have to know all the answers and that, that you don't have to be so specific, but you do have to ask the question. So if you were to look in the camera right now to somebody who's feeling a little bit like, what is that? Like, how do I ask someone to be my mentor what do you say to them when they ask you that? Stop overthinking it. <laughs> Reach out to someone, pick up the phone and ask. Yes. I can attest to it's that. In our heads. It is all in our head. We are our own worst enemy. It is not that yep. big of a deal. I ask me, call me. Text me, Instagram message me. People always put it out there that they're willing to help. Reach out and ask. I think that it's just the 100%. overthinking. You need to stop overthinking. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to say I can attest to that because you have put your money where your mouth is. That's what you did, right? You reached out and I, I, you did that to me I'm, and you did that to so many others. Like you just picked up the phone and called. And I just, I love that. I love seeing your phone, your name on my phone. Any someone I know this person might know, just ask. I think, especially the people in not just the women up community, but in men community, like you, you find your circle, you find your tribe. I think there's very collaborative culture. You just have to seek it out, find it, and be that person for someone else. Because when you're that person right. for someone else, you're attracting that, right? I think that's often something we don't recognize is that just by being out there, we can be that person for somebody else. You know, it's not all, you know, I need help with blah, blah, blah. But the fact that you actually are the expert for someone else or can be the, the shoulder or the guiding light is something that I think we all need to own and celebrate. And you don't have to save the world to be an inspiration. No. Like no. being yourself, um, it's doing the little things throughout the day, doing the things uh, that living your life, people watching you, you're being an inspiration. Like I tell Sandra Miller all the time, I'm watching you, like just <laughs> watching. That's right. Yeah, that was one of the things that was so interesting when I retired is just to hear from people that I don't really know, but they feel like they know me and there was a positive thing. So you just real, you know, you just don't realize that when you get out there, people are watching and it's just a beautiful thing, right? Because it's not speaking, it's doing, <laughs> which is so powerful. I sent you a really long message about a connection that we had, um, it was a private connection that I had with you and right. I sending that to you. It was beautiful. Um, just watching, yeah. you, just yeah. watching your little stories, the little day-to-days. So one of the things we wanted to know is a couple of your leadership lessons just from the last year, which has been holy smokes, right? It was hit the ground running in 2020 and then uh, no, we're not for three months. And then now we're running again. And it's just required a lot of, flexibility and just moving quickly and how are you how did you do it and what can you share with us in terms of um life lessons i'm calling it healthy compromise <laughs> <laughs> i love that 
Some people said pivot all year long. I'm like, no, we got to compromise. Like we'll find a way we're finding a solution. Just being completely solution oriented. Like Deborah said, I'm always trying to find a way to learn or solve a problem. That's what I do. I consider that my job is just problem solving. Um, so when COVID hit us, thankfully our brokerage model is a brokerage model that actually thrives in times like this because we're complete online and we we're online lead gen. So we have connections with um, the online buyer space, right? So thankfully we were able to still take our first year. We just, we had to really compromise with the digital cultivation of culture. We had to compromise with now more recently, um, my partner's ill, right? So he's out and I'm here by myself. We had to compromise with, um, I'm sorry. What are you, no, you guys, sorry, you're glitching. Are you there? We're here, we're here. Can you see us? We can see you. Technology has been such a... It's been a challenge today. <laughs> it really has. Not it cooperating. Really has. <laughs> we can hear you, Jackie. Can you hear us? Yes, I was talking about compromise. You were. We're compromising, compromising on technology right now. <laughs> we were growing. Technology is compromising us. <laughs> We're growing so quickly because it was good for our type of business, right? Our business model. We were growing so quickly that we had to compromise with other things that we wanted to slowly scale. We had to scale much quicker than what we thought. So it's just been a lot of healthy compromise, understanding that I'm not going to be in control of every situation with a new partnership, even um, compromising with decisions that together versus before the partnership, I would get to make decisions completely on my own. So that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, I love that you, oh, go ahead. But before we scoot through that, you kind of said it really quickly, but I would love for the community to understand um, the eHome Strong and th that that element of your culture at eHome supporting Elmer with going through cancer. I, I don't want to brush over that. I think that that's a really important story to tell. Would you mind? Yeah. I'm sorry you're glitching, you guys. You said e home strong, right? Yes. E home yes. strong. Okay. If you want me to explain e home strong, e home strong came from Elmer actually directly. Elmer, um, in November, he got very ill and we couldn't figure out um, exactly what was going on with Elmer. Um, he had fever for about three weeks and he ended up um, being hospitalized. When he was hospitalized, even then, for about two to three weeks, weeks he was they couldn't figure out what was wrong with him at all so during this time we everyone just thought he was dying really um thankfully real estate community actually helped us to find yes reaching out to people like jennifer berman who's been through something like this reaching out to other um flex partners in the area that maybe had connections because we had to get into a different hospital so then we ended up Thankfully enough, ended up getting Elmer to UC San Diego, um, where he's now diagnosed with lymphoma. And with this diagnosis, um, we've come up with a cam campaign, something to have, something to make this negative kind of situation that we're in into a positive. So now we've come up with a big group um, on Facebook. Deborah, you're in it. It's called E Home Strong. And in the group, we're just supporting him, sending positive vibes, sending updates, um, um, coming in. We actually also launched the group to not just um, support him, but also in the case of maybe a bone marrow transplant, we'd have a huge group there um, to anyone that would want to support him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. It's, it's, it the is. Whole... Yeah. Coming together. Beautiful. I love that. The community rallying. Yeah, the community rallying around Elmer is, I think, will make all the difference. So that's beautiful, just beautiful. But uh, switching gears, I don't know if you can hear me because it's very glitchy on my end too. Um, next week on, on an upside, next week is Inman and we love Inman. Inman loves Woman Up and it's a great marriage of events, um, but uh, tell us about your role at Inman next week, Jackie. You have been announced as ambassador. So what, what does that mean? What are you doing? And how are you rolling with that? 
Inman Inman Ambassador is one of my favorite things to do. Um, So Inman has a group of people. It's actually one of the reasons that um, I'm a little bit more connected with people across the nation in real estate is because of Inman. Um, The ambassador group specifically, my first Inman, they helped me get connected. If I was lost, like a lost little puppy, that's why everyone calls me little sis. <laughs> so they would they would guide me into what sessions were great or um, different after hours events or um, lunches. You know, you were never alone. The Inman community is one of the most collaborative communities out there. Um, they always want to see the real estate industry elevated, um, and they do that with this event. And I'm really excited to be an ambassador and share all about my love for Inman. Well, you know, you, uh, I remember your first Inman, uh, Sarah, you might remember this as well. We actually, it was, we had the most spectacular woman up happy hour. Do you remember that Leslie? Where we were at the outside bar and that was wonderful. Yeah. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. The, that those appetizers were so delicious. <laughs> still remember those you know what I remember about Jackie is she was always ready she wanted a video you know she was always just (laughs) posting posting and so crazy and at first I was kind of like oh no you know like I need like 10 hours to prepare and then it was like she just got me over the hump like just (laughs) there you know (laughs) you you really helped me Jackie that way because you were just be natural you know this is what it's all about (laughs) I documented my very first Inman in a group yeah so yeah, good. lots of pictures, lots of video, just to show people like it can be your first time. You can still get out there. You can still meet people. It can still be fun. I went alone. I went completely alone. Just like showed up. We did. Soul you Sunday weren't Ball. alone. You weren't alone. You were with us. Well, you yeah. Woman uh, but, community. I mean, <laughs> I didn't plan a trip or anything. Soul Cycle is something I look forward to every single time. Are you guys doing Peloton now? Yep, we are. <laughs> Both of my daughters have one. So I've got that and we have our Women Up Peloton group. So yeah. Whoop, whoop. I love it. I love it. Um, so let's see. We've got, we, did we talk about the Women Up sessions? I don't think we talked about those yet, what we're doing. So we, mm-hmm. uh, Inman always likes to highlight some of the topics that we've talked about um, you know, in the previous six months, they, al- they always come to us and say like, what were some of the hot topics? And so we are uh, doing a rising up starts with saying yes. So that's the sharing your voice conversations we've had here inside the community. We're doing that. And we're also doing a um, highlights of the building wealth through real estate and the Inman sessions, as many of you know, are fast and furious. So they are 15 minutes. So if you've missed either one of those sessions in the past, or you want a kind of a refresh, one is happening on Tuesday. So the building wealth is happening on Tuesday, the 26th at 50 Eastern time. And the, um, the rising up by sharing your voice and saying yes is slated for Thursday morning at 1040 AM Eastern, which is 740 <clears throat> here on the West Coast. So grab your coffees, grab your laptops, and join us for some, some goodness. We'll be sure to drop the link in. Uh, is there anything you're really looking forward to at the event, Jackie? I'm just looking forward to connecting with new faces. They have a whole new ambassador crowd, um, a lot of new faces there that uh, are really proven to be more collaborative just like um, just like last year, but they're just new faces. So I wanna see them get out there. I wanna help them get out there and guide them to be better ambassadors too. And I want this next digital connect to be, our job is to make it more human, right? So I'm always looking for ways to do that. Do you guys have any recommendations for me? Cause that's something I'm looking forward to is how am I gonna make it more human? Yeah. You know, what's so interesting. So I, I don't know if, if you actually knew this, but I was at, um, when Katie was at Inman, I was part of her, the very first Inman ambassador team. And so we did the first kind of in-person ambassadorships, right. And to see it have grown, uh, over the years and to see now how they're trying to shift and make some compromises and some changes to it being virtual, I would say, 
Um, the number one thing that's helped us with our virtual events is reaching out before and asking people what sessions they're going to so that you can pop in, see them, engage with them. But ha you know, having a, a nice tight list of people that you're really nurturing relationships with and showing up in the same room as them, letting them see you and, and having a conversation in the chat. I think that makes it human. It's like what you would do uh, if we're in person, right? And so you can do that. Also, if you used to meet people in the lobby, uh, do the same. I mean, you could even use Clubhouse, the Clubhouse app to do kind of like a lobby con. Clubhouse. It felt like a lobby con. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Clubhouse was. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Those are my thoughts. Love it. And then, of course, you have Peloton crew that will always hop on a bike. Just saying. I don't have a <laughs> Well, I think it's time for you to get one, okay? It should be a goal. <laughs> an aspiration. And it's a woman up session. Yeah, we'll pop that link down in the chat. Um, it's not an official, woman up Peloton is not an official, but you know, we have Nikki and Sandra and all the Peloton, you know, gurus there at Inman. So, you know, you'll rally a squad. Peloton gurus. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I think Sandra's in the, in the chat room laughing. <laughs> there like, is. Damn you. I, you, you don't have to have a Peloton to ride the bike with the group though. If you have any kind of bike or even there's other things that you can do inside the Peloton community. So you, there's ways that you can kind of get your feet wet. <laughs> um, so before, I think before we ask Jackie for final words, I, what I'd love to hear is what's on Leslie's mind. We kind of missed that earlier. Yeah, I had a, I had a, um, a few issues. So there were just two quick things I wanted to um, mentioned that kind of caught my eye. And one is that NAR came out with a list of the top 10 cities nationally that have been the most resilient in 2020 and are posed and are poised for um, really exceptional growth in 2021. And what I thought was interesting were the variables that they used uh, to rank the cities. And they started with the percentage of the, the workforce that is working from home, the percentage of the families that are multi-generational uh, in their home. They looked at um, net domestic migration. They looked at inflow from the expensive coastal um, cities in the United States. They looked at the unemployment rate. They looked at the share of the workforce in retail leisure. Uh, in hospitality, they looked at small business um, openings and they looked at the um, mobility um, to kind of recreational um, areas and, and retail. So I just thought that was a really a great um, kind of um, kaleidoscope of factors that kind of come together to really um, create a, a, a quality of life. So let me just read this list. Um, Every, every city is um, a different state. And for those of you that are Californians, there is not one California city here, which we're not used to that, right? We're not, but um, at, uh, in alphabetical order, Atlanta, Boise, Charleston, Dallas, Des Moines, Indianapolis, Madison, Phoenix, Provo, and Spokane. So I think that gives you a, a look at, at the future and certainly the value of um, relocation networks, right, um, in our um, industry and, and the networking that we've been talking about with, um, with Jackie. The other quick thing I wanted to mention is the I'm a big um, longtime reader of The New Yorker. I grew up with my dad being a subscriber forever. So it's one of my ways of connecting with him and also reading uh, some good stuff. And the <laughs> January 25th issue has a whole article about the women that were really pivotal during the Civil War um, uh, back in the day, you know, and it really just a wonderful profile of um, uh, William Seward's wife, right? And he was a Senator and then he was Secretary of State from 1861 to 69. And apparently regardless of the politics, he gave a great party and everybody uh, showed <laughs> up. And here's just, let me read this one a part of a, of a paragraph. Um, his wife, Frances, hated these parties. 
she wrote in her scrapbook, the moral and intellectual degrade degradation of women increases in proportion to the homage paid by men to external charms. Um, and she was kind of a closet mm -hmm. abolitionist and was really very, um, very powerful and instrumental. So I want to recommend um, that as well in the spirit of um, Women Up. So those are just two things I wanted to share uh, today. And we'll make sure to get those links in the yeah. chat below because I, I, I couldn't write down those cities fast enough. And I can't Sad believe Spokane California is on there. there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's in your area, right? Well, it's <laughs> it's like as far south as as it could be for me. It's kind of like over by um, Idaho, like on the really mm. far southeast near Idaho. So it's the diametric opposite of Seattle. Let's just be real. I think that's what people have been flocking to if they yeah. can. Yeah. Okay. So now, Jackie, we want to impart any words of wisdom, advice, maybe a little in bit for our community as we part on and go on with our weekend. Uh, in minted bit, I'm going to say attend. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to meet a lot of people. If you don't meet anyone, you'll meet me. Uh, <laughs> then on top of that, uh, parting words, I'll just say, I know this is the women of the community, so, so I'm hoping someone later on sees this um, and waits till the end to hear this and it's what I always say you guys go for it stop overthinking stop overthinking take action just do it feel the fear and do it anyway I'm not fearless when people call me fearless I'm not fearless I have fears um, but I just I move forward I still take action um, in spite of the fear so if you're watching this do it I love that well, and I always think of the, the definition of fearless as fear less, not that you're void of fear. So I think that's perfect. That per perfectly encapsulates Jackie Soto. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh my goodness. What a great chat. Uh, and thanks to everybody who had patience and grace with the wild, wacky tech craziness today. Uh, I think everybody must be on Zoom today celebrating and having happy hours. Maybe that's what it is. That's what I'm going to claim is that everyone's so Friday, right? Joyful <laughs> on Zoom in the afternoon. Um, again, for those of you who made it through. Yeah. Right. The, 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 thank you for joining us first and foremost, but don't forget to catch the replays of the wisdom sessions. If you've got some time this weekend, you know, uh, I, th I only think one or two of them, you maybe want to be watching the screen, but you can use most of them, even like a podcast. So, mm -hmm. you know, pop your earbuds in and go get some fresh air and soak in some of the wisdom from those. Uh, we will, again, make sure that you have the How Women Rise book club, um, second book club that's happening on 2-2, so February 2nd at 11 a.m. Pacific time. We'll make sure that we have the event up and the Zoom registration link so that you can get that on your calendars and attend that. Uh, and then, of course, join us next week. Join us at Inman Connect. We dropped the link into the Woman Up sessions, but of course, there's so many other sessions. There's hundreds of people who are going to be speaking and sharing their experience, their wisdom, their snark and sass. Um, it's going to be great. And ultimately um, put a cherry on top of it with that Wednesday evening, rate my agent award ceremony for the agent of the year. I'm excited to see what Molly and Lori and Christy and the rest of the rate my agent team have cooked up because those three women alone. We know we have seen those power players here in this community. We know the advice they give and the experience they create. So I think that's going to be a really fun. And I love that they said yes to turning it virtual and didn't say, no, we'll wait. Like they're going for it. They're being, they're fearing less stepping in. So let's show up and support them next week. Uh, last but not least, least not last, uh, if you are speaking at Inman next week, drop a link to your session so we can support you. Uh, we'll start a separate link, a, a separate post as well, but I love showing up for the ladies and gentlemen who are part of this community. So if you are speaking, let us know when and where, and we will be there whenever possible. Uh, until next Friday, have a great week, an amazing weekend.
Bye, Thank everyone. you again, Jackie. See you. Thanks again, Jackie. Everybody. Thanks so much.